Selena spent 5 over 9 of her money on 36 cupcakes and 32 muffins. The price of one cupcake was thrice as much as the price of one muffin. So what does this mean? Uh, well, instead of buying one cupcake, you can choose to buy three muffins with the same amount of money. Now, she then used one over six of her money to buy more cupcakes. She spent a total of $187.50 on all the cupcakes. How much did she spend on the muffins? Now, to do this question, we need to know how many cupcakes did this person buy. Because once we know that, right, we can find the cost of one cupcake and from there find the cost of one muffin and then find the cost of 32 muffins, which is what she spent. Okay, so the process is as such. First, in order to find how much she spent on the 32 muffins, Okay, we need to know how much she spent for one muffin first. And to do that, we need to use the information on the cupcakes, right? We're given information on the cupcakes to find the cost of one cupcake first. But in order to find the cost of one cupcake, we need to know how many cupcakes this person bought. Alright, because once you know that, you can find the cost of one cupcake based on this value here. And then you can use the price of one cupcake is actually thrice the price of one muffin to find the cost of one muffin. And then from there, you find the total cost of 32 muffins. So how many cupcakes did this person buy? We know there will be 36 cupcakes plus some more additional cupcakes here. All right, but how many cupcakes is this? How many cupcakes can one of a six of her money buy? All right, so what do we do is we use this thing called substitution. We substitute all these muffins, we replace it with cupcakes. So 5 over 9 of her money can get her 36 cupcakes plus another 32 muffins. Now what we do is we change this to cupcakes so that we know the fraction involved for a certain number of cupcakes alone. 32 muffins, how many cupcakes will that be? Now we know from the top, one cupcake will be equivalent to three muffins. So if you have 32 muffins, how many cupcakes will that be? That will be 32 divided by three, which is gonna give us a fraction. So that will be 10 whole and two thirds cupcakes. Okay, let's check whether it's really 10 whole and two thirds. Go back to the top here, 10 whole and two thirds cupcakes. How many muffins is this? We times 10 whole and 2 thirds here. We do the same thing here, right? So what is 3 times 10 whole and 2 thirds? 3 times 10 whole and 2 thirds. Indeed, that will be the same as 32 muffins. Okay, so 5 over 9 of her money can get her 36 plus 10 and 2 thirds cupcakes. 46 and 2 thirds cupcakes. Okay, that is 5 over 9 of her money. Now I want to know 1 over 6 of her money, how many cupcakes will that be equals to? So 1 over 6, how many cupcakes? Okay, this is the challenge for us right now. So what we need to do is make the denominator the same so that we can compare these two fractions. 9 and 6 common multiple is 18, the lowest one, so it times 2 times 2. 10 over 18 of her money can actually buy her 46 and 2 thirds cupcakes. Alright. 1 over 6, change the base to 18 as well, so it times 3 times 3. So this will be 3 over 18. How many cupcakes is this? Now, from this step here, we can know 1 over 18 of her money can actually buy her 46 2 thirds divided by 10. 46 2 thirds divided by 10. Four and two thirds cupcakes. So 
So if you have 3 out of 18 of your money, how many more cupcakes can you buy? 4 2 thirds cupcakes times 3. Why, because time, why times 3? Because 1 unit represents 4 whole and 2 thirds. 3 units represent this times 3. 14 more cupcakes. Which means in total you are buying 14 plus the original 36. 14 plus 36. 50 cupcakes. Okay, so go back to the flow chart here. 50 cupcakes is what is being bought. That will cost you 187.5. You can find the cost of one cupcake. And then jump up to muffins. Next, okay, so one cupcake. One eight seven point five divided by fifty. Three point seven five dollars. And we use this information to find the cost of one muffin. Divide by three, right? Because one cupcake is the same as three muffins, so if you just want to find one muffin, you divide by three, you get $1.25. And how much did she spend on all the muffins? She bought 32 muffins, nothing more. 32 muffins, this will be $1.25 times 32, which will give us an answer of $40.